was a study that we did. We looked at 496 patients who underwent autologous stem cell transplantation for multiple myeloma over a 10-year period. And we were looking at a number of different uh, things that we could pull out of the data. And one of the things that we noticed is, is that we saw we had about 24 patients who were over the age of 75 who underwent autologous stem cell transplantation. And the reason that was interesting to us is that most of the studies that talk about elderly patients usually use a cutoff of 65 years old, which would be considered an elderly patient. And we know that we transplant patients that are even older than that. So we wanted to see what was the, uh, the outcomes of these patients and what influenced uh, their course of their transplantation. We found that there, for patients uh, uh, over the age of 75, again like the 24 patients, there was no difference in overall survival and there was no difference in progressive free survival when compared to patients who were under the age of 75. Uh, we also found that uh, almost 80% of the patients were able to tolerate the higher doses of melphalan as a conditioning regimen, melphalan 200 milligrams per meter square as opposed to 140 milligrams per meter square. Uh, and we found also that uh, more than 50% of the patients were able to get a cyclophosphamide mobilization regimen as opposed to a plerixifor mobilization regimen which does not include chemotherapy. Sometimes it's felt that those patients can't tolerate uh, higher doses of chemotherapy prior to transplantation and we found that those patients did, did fine. In terms of overall response, uh, the majority of our patients uh, achieved a, a very good partial response of VGPR or better uh, after transplantation. 